to the Nanaimo area now where today's powerful wind caused huge waves and thrust thousands of homes into darkness. Wind warnings alerted people that damaging gusts of up to 80 kilometers an hour were on the way and as our Sky Ryan reports the rush was on to be ready. David Long is rushing along the docks at Nanusa Schooner Cove Marina. Before the wind comes you gotta have everything secure. Tying up lines and securing boats as the fast moving storm approaches. When she buffets, she just bangs into the boats, the wind, you know, and she just breaks the lines with nothing. It isn't long before the damaging winds of up to 80 kilometers an hour that the east coast of the island has been warned about arrive. My heart's racing. <laughs> it's like skiing on a powder day for people who don't sail, right? With the weather alert out, wind surfers quickly arrive in French Creek to take advantage of this exposed stretch that's getting a wallop from Mother Nature. It's super windy, it's great out there. It's, uh, it's a lot of sea life out there. Sea lions are out. The surfers say it's a wild oddity in these big storms. The sea lions seem to surf right alongside them, the only ones who don't seem to be seeking shelter from the weather. When you're way out there and some of the big gusts hit you, it's it's a little bit intimidating because you can just it'll just take right off. But you know, that's that's what I'm here for. <laughs> but the weather some are enjoying is playing havoc with power lines from Port McNeil to Nanaimo and dealing snow to many communities. Soon power is knocked out to thousands as trees begin falling on lines. Right now we have about 5,000 customers throughout the island without power. Uh, we have. Up in Courtney and Comox area, about over 4,000 customers up there, about 4,500. We've got customers uh, in the Nanaimo area, Ladysmith, Yellow Point area. BC Hydro's Ted Olenek says it looks like this brief but intense storm was the second whammy for trees already damaged in last Friday's windstorm. And they just let go. Yeah, it's, uh, they're predicting a, a cold, wet winter and who knows what will happen. It's, uh, we've gone through this in 2006, 2007, some pretty intense weather. So all we can do on our side is be prepared. Back in the noose, Dave Long is glad he was. <laughs> As the fall storm season kicks up on the wild west coast for another year.